Hello there, welcome to the part 8 of the MCQs which we are discussing in Legal Aptitude. So in CSCET we have Legal Aptitude, we have finished 7 parts, this is part 8 of the MCQs. I am Company Secretary Alok and let us start with the MCQs. So the first question here is Dash shall be the head of the executive power of the union. So who is the executive power? It is the President of India. The President of India is the executive power of the Union of India that is for the whole country who is the executive power see now why is it president see we know it is not governor of a state because state is only for one particular state not for the whole of India chief justice of India so chief justice of India is for judiciary yes he is the head of the judiciary president of India is the executive power so is it prime minister Prime Minister shall be the head of the executive power of the union? No. Prime Minister is the head of the legislature. Yes, that is the Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha together. Upper house and lower house in uh, India. So the lower house is Lok Sabha, the upper house is the Rajya Sabha. That is the representative of the people and the Prime Minister is the head of the legislature. But the executive power of the Union of India is the President of India. So the answer is President of India for this MCQ. Uh, okay. Next we come to the fundamental duties. So as you know, we have Article 51A which talks about the fundamental duties of every citizen of India as per the Constitution of India. And fundamental duties is something every Indian should do. So what are the fundamental duties? So it includes... To abide by the constitution and respect the ideals of the institutions and the national flag, national anthem. Definitely as every Indian should respect the national flag, national anthem. To defend the country and render national service when called upon to do so. So if at all there is a war and the government needs you, the country needs you. That time you have to defend the country. That is our duty. That is also correct. To value and preserve the rich heritage and composite culture of India because India has the richest history in the whole world so it is that is also true so the correct answer is all of the above one more sometimes even when you don't know the answer that time if there is a question when you don't know the answer then you can select all of the above because more often than not that is the correct answer all of the above is correct answer but don't do it blindly only when you don't know so in this case we know very well article 51a and we know about fundamental duties. So answer is D. Okay. Next we come to the third MCQ in this part. The word socialist added by Dash aims to secure its people justice which is social, economic and political. So social justice, economic justice and the political justice for every Indian. For every Indian. It was not there from 1947. So it was added in. 1976 which was the 42nd amendment so you have to remember that 42nd amendment in fact if you remember even we did it in the class we call it as mini constitution mini constitution that means there were so many changes in 1976 when the constitution got amended we call it as the mini constitution mainly we added to the preamble of india to the preamble of India, we added uh, so many things like justice, social, equity. Then we added the word secular. All that we added in 1976. So the word socialist was added by the 42nd Amendment. So India became a socialist country in the 42nd Amendment, 1976. So the correct answer is A. Next we go to under section 2H, an agreement enforceable by law is dash. So this we know very well. Agreement enforceable by law is a contract. Agreement enforceable by law is not an obligation. It is not consideration. Consideration is what we exchange with each other in the parties of the contract. All of the above? No, it is not all of the above. Because we know it is not consideration. It is not obligation. So obviously this answer is out of the picture. So the correct answer is section 2H of the Indian Contract Act says that an agreement which is enforceable by law. What is enforceable by law? If any party does not fulfill its conditions, you can go to the court and you can fight for your rights in the court of law. That is why we call it as enforceable. So that is why 
a contract is enforceable by law so section 2h is a contract answer is b next again in contract act the communication of the offer may be dash the communication can be only general no only specific no so obviously none of the above will not come here general or specific so you can make an offer general or specific for example you have a advertisement okay advertisement advertisement may be a, a newspaper advertisement nowadays it can be on instagram advertisement can be on facebook obviously advertisement can be on tv so whatever advertisement is there it is a offer correct come and buy our clothes come and buy our shampoo come and buy our soap come and buy our product take our service take talk take our uh, uh, curated products whatever it is so that is a general offer or a specific offer so i want to sell my books to you so that is a specific offer only to you i want to sell my house i am not telling anyone to come and buy if i put a advertisement on the uh, free ads or on any of the uh, online website then it is a open offer and it is a general offer but specific offer is it is only for one specific person or one specific uh, group of people so that is a specific offer so when we are making a communication of the offer the offer communication can be general or specific both are allowed so the correct answer is c so that is the legal aptitude sample questions in this part in the next part we will be studying more legal aptitude mcqs join me in the next video